Okay, getting ready for final round of Tracker Amulet, seeing if we'll get the 5-0. Um, engineered Explosives looked really good that last round against like the Shadow player, just clearing the way for things, buying us time. Tracker looked good, uh, drew us a card, ate a removal spell. Um, yeah, you know, I think this list, it's it's attacking a different angle than Karn. So Karn's good at, like, when the Karn static is good, Karn's good, uh, like, against, um, uh, like, artifact-based deaths, like, Belcher, it's good. It's good against Hammer Uh it, And Karn's also really good against, like, combo decks and, like, picking out the right piece to attack a combo deck and put it in control, but, uh, but this list is also, I think it, I found ways to sort of shore up the general things that Karn is good at. Um, you know, Karn's also great under Blood Moon, but so is Tracker, so, yeah. So this hand really wants to draw lands. mulliganing down. Hopefully that doesn't mean that my opponent is like Tron. Hopefully it's just bad hands. Okay, this probably means oh, Dredge. Okay, well Dredge is a good matchup even if our hand isn't good against Dredge. So even if we lose game one, we should be well set up games two and three. And if we draw a bounce land, we just easily win this game. We might even win it just drawing lands. Period. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to develop my mana. Because the only way that they can really fight back against this is conflagrate, and so if they conflagrate, I want to have more lands in play. for our opponent, we're just going to be doing much better things than them. Guy's Blessing being better than Eldrazi here. Uh, Tormod's Crypt. Don't want the Engineered Explosives. Can shave on maybe just all the trackers. I think I'll leave one tracker. Cut a cavern. Maybe two trackers? What's the next worst thing? I think I've got to cut an Azusa, play a second tracker. The thought is, like, we have so much graveyard hate that I don't want to lose the game to, like, 
having graveyard hate, but then just not having Titan. How do I feel about this hand? It does make a lot of mana. And Saga can potentially find Tormod's Crypt or Bajukabog. I'm not in love with it, but I think it's passable. Okay, thought sees. Well, maybe good we didn't mulligan because maybe we mulligan if we mulligan we would just lose the thought sees anyway. If they take the amulet, we can also go saga and then Vesuva saga. We take razor. Okay. I assume that means they just have like an answer to the amulet, maybe like shenanigans. First Saga is definitely just grabbing Bajukabog now. Because it's going to trade with the Ancient Grudge anyway, might as well get a Bajukabog out of the deal. Honestly, I'm just going to grab Tormod's Crypt here. Complicate our construct. Our opponent just has actual nothing. I'm gonna play the fetch just on the off chance they're on like Blood Moon. I think opponent uh, overboarded a little. there with the 5-0. Uh, 
Yeah. So I think this is where I'm going to be on Amulet, at least right now, is is Tracker. I, I've had a lot of fun with Karn, but I think, I think people are starting to learn how to play against Karn and ha are expecting Karn. And, you know... Uh, I think it tra I think Tracker was very impressive there. I th I think I'm impressed by the the sideboard. You know the engineered explosives looked very good. Uh, having access to graveyard hate against like Dredge looked very good. Um, having the extra cavernous souls against Control looked very good. So you know just being able to play with a sideboard when you're not playing with Karn is quite good. And 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 Tracker is doing nice things in the current meta. I don't think people are necessarily expecting Tracker or prepared for Tracker, uh, which is always good. So, like, if I'm playing against a control matchup, if I'm always playing the same list, if I'm always playing Karn, then they're going to, like, play around Karn and, you know, like, hold up counter magic for the Karn turns, but they might not hold up counter magic for, like, a tireless Tracker turn. Or, like, they might be planning to play around Karn with things like Dovin's Veto, and then suddenly Tracker gets in there under Cavernous Soul. So just, like, when people are trying to stop what you're doing, doing something else is, like, you know, a good way to go with the list. So, yeah, uh, I'm very happy with this list, happy with how things went, and I hope people enjoyed uh, these videos. Uh, be sure to... Uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment, all the those things, share on your social media. I really appreciate everybody who does uh, has done all those things, and I appreciate everybody who's watching, uh, and I hope everyone has a good one.